I am amused by the radical left. I'm amused by them. So yesterday, Joe Rogan, who's a friend of mine, right? Full disclosure, I'm friends with Joe. I think Joe's a good dude. We disagree on a wide variety of topics. But what's fun about Joe is that Joe is really open-minded. He's willing to discuss with anybody. Like he'll have anybody on his show. He'll have tons of people from a variety of different viewpoints. He's had me, he's had Bernie Sanders. Right? He's had Barry Weiss and he's had and he's had people who I think are wildly not Barry Weiss. Right? I mean, he's, he's had people from virtually every area of life. Well, Joe Rogan was asked by Barry Weiss on his show who he would be likely to vote for in the California primaries. And here was Joe Rogan's answer. I think I'll probably vote for Bernie. Him as a human being, when I was hanging out with him, and yeah. I, I believe in him. I like him. I like him a lot. What Bernie stands for is a guy who, well, look, you could, you could dig up dirt on every single human being that's ever existed if you catch them in their worst moment, and you magnify those moments, and you cut out everything else, and you only display, display those worst moments. That said... You can't find very many with Bernie. He's been insanely consistent his entire life. Okay, so Rogan is saying what really is Bernie's appeal, which is that Bernie has been this old commie for his entire life. Now, I don't find that appealing, right? I think that his ideas have been bad since basically he emerged from his mother's womb at age 82. But like he, he's, he's like the high school principal in Back to the Future. The man never had hair, right? I mean, that's, that's, he was always like this. But that is his appeal, right? The, the, the appeal of Bernie is the authenticity. It's the reason why people have not turned to Elizabeth Warren. They feel she is inauthentic. People who like Bernie believe that he is authentic. And so they're like, okay, at least he believes what he believes. And that goes a long way with Joe. Now, again, I disagree with Joe on this. I think Bernie Sanders is a trash heap. I think he's awful. I think he associates with the worst people. I think that he champions the worst people. But what's hilarious is that the left, which has no problem whatsoever with Bernie Sanders hanging out with Linda Sarsour, no problem with him being endorsed by Sean King, no problem with Bernie Sanders touting the endorsements of some of the most radical people in American life. Joe Rogan said that, right? He said, I'd be likely to vote for Bernie Sanders. And Bernie Sanders had the temerity to put that up on his Twitter page. And now that is trending number one on Twitter. Number one, not because Rogan said that he'd be likely to vote for Sanders. That's not actually a huge surprise, right? Joe is an out of the box dude. That's not, it really is not super shocking. And authenticity matters an awful lot to Joe. The reason people are mad is because Joe Rogan has had people like me on his show. And the fact that Joe Rogan has had people like me on a show means that Joe Rogan is a very bad man who's very bad and very bad. And that means that Bernie Sanders touting his endorsement is really awful because Joe Rogan believes things. Like sometimes he says that men are men and women are women and that men should not fight women in MMA. That's the thing he has said. And that is quite terrible. And also Joe Rogan is a comedian, which means he has said very politically correct and offensive things in the past. And that is very bad. And so now Bernie Sanders is being attacked by the woke left for the sin of touting the fact that the most popular podcaster in America, right? I mean, Joe is huge. That Joe came out and said that he would vote for Bernie in a primary or is likely to vote in a primary. The left is so self-defeating. And Bernie deserves every bit of this, of course, because Bernie has courted this, right? For all the talk about Bernie's authenticity, here's where Joe, I think, is wrong. Bernie is, is authentic until the point where he is challenged, at which point he backs down like a little pansy, right? He is absolutely authentic until the point where he's attacked on it and then he runs screaming from the room. To, to give an example, he was endorsed by, by Chank Iger. So Chank and I have our disagreements. To put it mildly, you can find a debate with me and Chank online. It's a pretty fun debate. Hey, Chank is running for Congress out here in California. He also has a big show called The Young Turks, which is weird since for a long time he didn't believe in the Armenian genocide. But in any case, Chank has a long history of saying pretty wild things. Okay, but Chank was always a Sanders supporter, right? He always supported Sanders, right? It's it, like, he's always supported him. And so Chenk endorsed Sanders. Sanders said, thank you. And then people started filling up Sanders' feed with all the things that Chenk has said over the years. And Sanders basically withdrew his endorsement of the endorsement. He basically disassociated from Chenk, which is the most gutless move in the entire world. I mean, super duper gutless. It's not like Chenk was hiding the ball. Chenk has been Chenk forever. Yeah, the same thing with Rogan. I would not be surprised if Bernie Sanders backs off of this. I would not be surprised if Bernie Sanders pulls down the tweet and says, while I'm grateful for Joe Rogan's support, I don't agree with everything that Joe Rogan says. Blah, 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 blah. That would not be surprising to me at all. This is, the, and he, he deserves that. I mean, that's what he, he has, he has facilitated the rise of this woke left. He has. He didn't have to. He could have been the guy standing up to it, but he has facilitated that rise. He has catered to that rise. And now he's feeling the blowback from it. So fine. But it is amazing that the, the world the left wants to create, it really is an incredible world. I mean, Rogan, has had on a variety of Democratic candidates. And many of the candidates have asked to come on. And he has said, I don't really want you to come on, <laughs> right? But Andrew, uh, like, give you another example of how the woke left is ruining America. So Andrew Yang, 
Right? Andrew Yang is, is, according to the Emerson poll, now running fourth, right? He has like 8% in national polls, according to some polls, which is amazing for a dude who has been completely shut out of the media. Andrew Yang had the temerity to appear with me on a Sunday special where he had an hour-long discussion of universal basic income that was completely cordial and interesting and fun and informative. It has millions of views online. He was blasted for the sin of that. Blasted for it. One of the reasons Andrew Yang is popular is because Andrew Yang is willing to have conversations with people who disagree without demonizing them. Meanwhile, you get Pete Buttigieg. Pete Buttigieg has catered to the woke left every step of the way very early on in the campaign when he first announced. I invited Pete Buttigieg to come on the Sunday special. And his campaign manager said he'd love to come on the Sunday special because at that point he had no attention. And then they got so much blowback that he just ghosted, right? Then it was like, nope, don't exist anymore. Not interested in coming on. Not even going to respond to emails. Okay, that is not how you build a coalition, obviously. But the Democrats are not interested in building a coalition. The woke Democrats, at least, are not interested in building a coalition. And let's be frank about this. I, I hate giving advice to Democrats. Let's be frank about this, Democrats. If you are going to force Joe Rogan out of your circle, if you're going to say that Joe Rogan cannot, you, you cannot tout an endorsement from Joe Rogan because he said some bad things about how men are men and women are women, good luck to you. Good luck to you. You're going to have to win some people like Joe Rogan if you hope to win an election. And you want to push Joe Rogan over to my side of the aisle? Keep doing this kind of stuff. Seriously, you want to push people like Joe Rogan, people like Andrew Yang over to my side of the aisle? All you have to do is keep being vicious jackasses all the time and dredging up old comments and then suggesting, well, this person is very bad. This is a very bad person.